Okay, so this tutorial is to show you how you can remove the metadata that's buried in your photographs. Now, you may have various reasons for wanting to get rid of the metadata. Um, it's usually to do with privacy. Um, I'm going to show you the kind of data that I'm talking about. If you go into, this is in Photoshop, you may be able to do this in Photoshop Elements. I haven't tried, but I'm sure you can. You go into File, File Info, and a box will come up that shows you the various tabs um, that you can click on to see what kind of data is stored in your pictures. Now, what you find here is going to be dependent on the camera that you used. Um, or the device that you used and what the settings are that you have the camera or device on. Now here in the first tab description I have already filled in these boxes um, in Photoshop for this picture because mainly for pictures that are going to go online I fill in at the very least I will fill in the copyright status here and I will put the URL for my blog site um, but I usually will put a title and my name and my title um, I just do that with, with, with most of my pictures now the other thing that you will find here is the camera data now again um, it depends on the settings on your device or camera as to what is actually recorded here. Now this is a picture that I took last year and since I took this picture I've changed the settings on all my cameras so that this data is not automatically recorded. Now sometimes I want the data to be recorded so I will go into the device that I am using and I will change the settings for the particular um, shoot that I'm doing at the time um, otherwise if I don't do that all my pictures by default come out with this area here blank now I'm actually recording this on a much older Mac than I usually use um, and on the newer Macs at the bottom here there is an extra heading that says GPS data now if you look at pictures that have GPS data recorded, it, in, in this area here it will give you the GPS coordinates uh, that will identify where you live or wherever the, the picture was taken. It, the area will be identifiable by the GPS coordinates. Now, some people, for whatever reason, may not want that data to be available and sometimes people are not really sure how to get rid of that information so I am going to show you a simple way, well I think it's simple anyway and this is the method that I use okay so you see here information that I manually put in myself and the camera data right so how do we get rid of that well the way I do it is I select all then I go to edit, copy, then I go to file, new, and it will automatically bring up a new document that's the right size to accommodate the picture that you have just copied. So you click OK and you get the blank canvas. You then go into edit, paste, and it neatly pastes your image into the new file. Then I go into layer, flatten image, and if I go into file info now, you will see that the camera data has gone and the description that I had added is also gone. And this is because it's a completely new document. And as I said, on the newer on newer Macs and cameras you would have GPS data at the bottom here and if you have got GPS data recorded in any of your images 
that will have disappeared also. Now because I like to have the um, description boxes filled in, I'm going to fill them in again. Sometimes I put keywords in, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with this one. And I like to have my URL in there. Click OK. So now on my new document I have removed the data that I don't want to be there and I have added back in that the data I do want to be there. So I hope that's clear to you and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.